Anyway, so around here we do a lot of uh, electrical work on boats and we end up with pieces of this or, you know, a couple of five gallon buckets that look like that. And instead of just throwing this stuff in the dumpster and sending it to landfill, you know, we can uh, strip the insulation off and um, recycle the copper, make a few dollars besides. So um, I wanted to make a device to help get the insulation off the wire. But um, I wanted it to be cheap to make and easy to use. And uh, after several uh, design evolutions, if you will, I think I've come up with a $5 wire stripper. And what it is, it's just a piece of plastic with some holes drilled in it to accept the wire. And a snap type uh, utility knife to go into a groove to cut that insulation. And uh, what I thought I'd do today is show you uh, how we go about making this and uh, some of the lessons that we've learned uh, in it since I made uh, the first version, which uh, this was just a proof of concept and uh, I've been using this one for a couple of years now. But I thought I would uh, go ahead and make something a little nicer to look at and uh, take you along with me and uh, show you how we make this. So um, let's get started. Let's do this. All right, so just a quick note of uh, how we got the $5 uh, price tag on this. Um, well, this is just a piece of scrap plastic we had laying around. Uh, I think it's probably a piece of half-inch PVC plastic board. But what I did have to buy was the utility knife and a pack of spare blades. And these two together, under five bucks. Uh, probably could have got them cheaper if I waited for them to go on sale, but it is what it is. Um, we had tried using uh, utility knives like this, and uh, we found out is that while we were using this tool, we would end up only dulling about that much of the plate. So we were tossing these blades. Uh, the middle was still plenty sharp, but uh, these snap off blades, uh, when that tip gets dull, you can just snap it off and you have another one ready to go right behind it. And uh, a pack of 10 will last you a very long time. So, um, hey, let's, let's get started. Let's build this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and get started making this thing and I'll share some of the lessons that uh, I learned uh, and making and using the first version here. So uh, you can see I've got uh, my layout lines on my piece of scrap plastic. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to start by making a cut at each line, just as straight and square as I possibly can. And then we'll come back and drill holes sized for the wire to go into. So uh, I'm going to go over uh, to the vise and uh, lock this down and we'll go ahead and make our saw cuts first. All right, so I've got a piece of uh, plastic here in the vise, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my cuts. Now, uh, this is one of the steps of this that you really gotta be proud of, uh, because we want these cuts to be straight as possible, and we want that saw kerf to land uh, in the center of the hole that we're gonna be drilling here soon, because when we cut the wire, we don't want it to wander around. We want it to, that, that knife blade to go right down the middle of the wire, split it, like that so and the type of saw that you use is also pretty critical because if the saw kerf is too wide then the blade will slop around in there and we don't want it to we want it to be held really snugly so um, the saw I use is this this has got the thinnest blade <laughs> I have um, even something like this is too wide for this blade so I'm going to go ahead and use my pull saw and make these cuts Now I'm cutting down almost to where my uh, center of my drill hole is going to be because I still want to have a little bit of plastic here so that my drill bit will, uh, will bite in and not skitter around. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut. Not too bad. And it's a good fit for our, for our blade. All right, so now the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and drill some pilot holes. 
And yes, it's hot in here. All right, so here we are at, the, at our drill press. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start by drilling uh, pilot holes at each of my mark. And off camera a little earlier, I did make a center punch so that my bit doesn't go skittering off because uh, I want this to be pretty precise right in the middle of that saw curve that we cut earlier. So uh, I'm gonna start by using a 7 30 seconds drill bit. Um, why 7 30 seconds? Well, because earlier I took my calipers and a piece of 10 gauge wire and sized it. So 7 30 seconds is just a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of that 10 gauge uh, piece of wire there. So it'll allow the wire to slide through while still holding it uh, fairly uh, snugly so that the blade doesn't wander around. So I'm going to go ahead and make some holes. Safety first. And it does take a little more time, but I'm going to use a clamp uh, to clamp this to the drill press because uh, the plastic tends can grab the drill bit and tries to walk up and it ruins the hole. Uh, ask me how I know. So get her lined up, straight, clamp down. And there's a hole. And 10 gauge wire fits. Just like it was made to go there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the rest. All right, so the 7.30 seconds bit is, is used just to make the pilot holes. Uh, I'm going to enlarge each hole for a specific wire gauge. So, um, and I'll share in the comments with you what sizes we use, because we went through and I did measure wire from uh, 10 gauge up to about two watt. All right, so there we've made a hole for the number 10 or 10 gauge wire. Uh, next one's gonna be eight. And I know that eight gauge needs a 30 seconds. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the rest of these. All right, we're getting to the big bits now. This is a 5 8 inch bit for a one aught uh, wire. And I uh, still want my big hole to be centered. So what I'm gonna do here is, before I clamp this to the table, I'm just gonna put the bit in and just give it a little turn backwards. And that helps to kind of center the bit in the pilot hole. One more hole to do. All right, so we'll go ahead and drill the last hole, uh, size for two eye cable. And to do that, I'm using a 4564th bit. Why a 4564th? Because <laughs> honestly, it's just the closest thing I got in the shop right now. So uh, it's close enough. All right, so we've got our holes drilled. It looks pretty good. Uh, well the, we're almost done. Uh, one of the last things I'm gonna do here is on the reverse side of my uh, wire stripper here, I'm just going to uh, put a little countersink on each one just to make inserting the wire into the hole just, just a little bit easier. Too bad. Let's go try it out. 
All right, so here we are at the vise. Uh, I'll show you how easy this thing is to use, what a good job it does. Um, so I just took my Sharpie marker and marked it so I know what wire size goes with what hole. I'm gonna put that in the vise, just like that. Turn it. So I put my wire in the appropriate size hole. This is a piece of tin gauge. Take my knife, put the knife in the saw kerf, and I just pull the wire through. And there we go. So it's, uh, I'm gonna move the camera a little closer so you can see I've got some other wire sizes here and uh, just keep going with this. All right, so here we are bird's eye view over the vise. Uh, let's strip some wire. So this here is a piece of two gauge. So I put two gauge wire in the two gauge slot and I'm going to get a fresh blade. And I just put the blade down in the slot like that, press it into the wire, grab a little piece and pull it through. Just like that. All right, and here, what do we got? Looks like four. Four gauge. Four gauge wire in the four gauge slot. Blade is in. Hold it. Hold through. And occasionally you might have to do that. But then we just pull that wire out. So yeah, quick and easy. All right, yeah, super simple to make, super simple to use, fast, cheap. It's good stuff. So I'm just put this one in backwards because it's got a lug on the end. And put my knife in, pull it through. And it's stripping wire to scrap cable. Um, or copper, excuse me, um, doesn't get much easier than that. So anyway, till next time, keep tripping your wire.